Okay. We're going to be taking lots of new YouTube videos. We've been working on the saltwater tank. This is what we have in two years. We've had our ups and downs. Uh, we've lost and we've gained and we've had some learning experiences. Such as this anemone right here. Just because something's cheap at Petco doesn't mean that it's not going to come in your tank and start eating your fish. Uh, and enemies and clownfish, that was our plan. We had a couple other failures with uh, bubble tip and enemies and, and a couple of the other ones. Uh, I have clownfish because I wanted clownfish and enemies. Well, I ended up getting this guy for like 12 bucks at Petco. Don't get me wrong, he's healthy. <laughs> he's badass. But he don't pair with clowns or with any other fish. He's really aggressive. He's eaten some of my five and four line damsels. Uh, I had some yellow belly damsels, some yellow tail damsels that he's eaten. Uh... So actually now, now, I have a whole nother tank where I'm breeding feeder fish. Uh, just so if I can power feed this guy like 19 cent fish and he don't eat my 30 and 40 dollar fish, then we're doing good. Eventually I'm going to move him. I'm going to set up uh, something for him on his own or, or see if I can find somebody to trade me something for him. Uh, he's getting to the point where he's really healthy though and I could possibly get to witness him reproducing and splitting himself in half which uh, maybe that's kind of why I want to hold on to it I mean he's the meanest beefiest an enemy I've come across so far <laughs> pretty cool and he eats fish right out of my hands so anyway, interesting creature. Uh, I guess my favorite fish is the big black one. That's a domino damsel. Uh, he actually bites. <laughs> uh, he's he's tank boss, definitely tank boss. Uh, got us a little cleaner shrimp. I guess they call them skunk shrimp or cleaner shrimp. Uh, that's a pretty cool little creature. And down there in the bottom, hard to see, we have an emerald crab. Uh, clown. That's my surviving clown. When I introduced this anemone into this tank, it immediately ate my, first, my other clownfish. So... Uh, Trying to figure out a method of dealing with stuff. I do have some some kind of coral kind of growing. Got a got a twenty dollar deal on that chunk right there with the promise that it would have coral in it. And so far we got some weird looking stuff growing on it. We're uh, we're learning. We're we're only two years in. Uh, Anyway, I'm pretty secure that at this point, I can add anything I want to this tank and it'll thrive. We got the really nice LED lighting, the remote control. This tank will simulate a thunder, uh, a lightning storm. You hit the lightning button. There we go. Yeah, we didn't look at them yet, but I got like three really cool hermit crabs in there. 
a bunch of quite a few big snails see some discarded shells but we got a couple of really nice turbo snails in there that have gotten really really big like this one up here in the corner here let me turn the light back on yeah that's weird they get out of the water like that sometimes oh here's another one I'm not sure if you'd call that a turbo snail, but he's another big one that we've had for quite some time. And there's Whiskey. That's the big, the black and black domino damsel. Susie brought him home, surprised me. Uh, and he turned out to be Tank Boss, but really cool fish, domino damsel. He actually bites you. Catch him by surprise and stick your finger in the tank. He's going to let you know you can yeah, get out. Yeah, four line or a five line damsel. Uh, we got two of those. Uh, I had three originally. Uh, that's another one that the anemone ate. And then we had two yellow belly damsels and and one yellow tail damsel. Uh, and they all succumbed to the. Annie the anemone. So that's a that was a learning process. That's why I make sure this thing is really well fed. Anyway, thanks. There's my Susie. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm new at the YouTube video thing, so I hope y'all like it.